When less children are born, the population shrinks. Less children eventually lead to extinction. In many European countries, the birth rate has dropped to merely 1.3 children per family. If this low birth rate is not stimulated, the population will drop to just a quarter of its present size within the next 100 years. When two couples each have one child, there are twice as much parents as there are children. When those children, in their turn, have one child, there are four times as much grandparents than there are grandchildren. Today, there are four employees for each pensioner. According to the reports of the European Commission, this proportion will have decreased by 2050 from 4 to 1 to just 2 to 1. A shrinking population affects the culture as well. In 2008, the fertility rate in France was 2. In the United Kingdom, 1.8. Flanders, 1.8. Greece, 1.4. Germany, 1.3. Italy 1.3, Spain 1.3. The European Union of 27 countries has a fertility rate of 1.53. Such a low birth rate will cause a dramatic decrease of the native European population. Despite its low birth rate, Europe's population does not diminish. How come? Because of immigration, Islamic immigration. Three-fourths of Europe's population growth comes from immigration. Each year, two million immigrants enter Europe. Within a few decades, the Europe as we know it will be history. France, the European country with most Muslims, already counts six million Muslims. One out of ten citizens in France is Muslim. Muslims have already built more than 2,000 mosques. By 2035, Muslims will be in the majority. The United Kingdom already counts 3 million Muslims and 1,700 mosques. Mohammed is the second most popular baby name in the UK, right after the typical English name Jack. By 2040, the majority of the British population would consist of Muslims. In 1971, there were just 54,000 Muslims in the Netherlands. In 2007, their number had multiplied by 20 and amounted to 1 million. That is 6% of the total Dutch population. In the four major cities, Amsterdam, Rotterdam, Den Haag and Utrecht, Mohammed is the most popular baby name. There are 4.3 million Muslims and 2,600 mosques in Germany. According to demographic predictions, by 2050 the majority of the German population will be Islamic. Russia counts 22 million Muslims. In 1991, there were merely 30 mosques throughout the entire country. Now there are already 8,000. By 2040, a majority of Russia's population will consist of Muslims. There are 630,000 Muslims in Belgium. That is more than 6% of the population. Between 1981 and 2004, the number of mosques has risen from 66 to 330. One third of the inhabitants of the capital of Brussels are Muslim. The Libyan leader Muhammad al Gaddafi said in 2006 on the Arabic TV channel Al Jazeera, We have 50 million Muslims in Europe. There are signs that Allah will grant Islam victory in Europe. Without swords, without guns, without conquests. The 50 million Muslims of Europe will turn it into a Muslim continent within a few decades. At the moment, there are 55 million Muslims in Europe, of which 20 million reside in Western Europe. Islam is the fastest growing religion of Europe. At the current pace, Europe will have become an Islamic continent by the end of the century. It is time to stand up. The British newspaper The Telegraph wrote on August 8, 2009, last year 5% of the total population of the 27 EU countries was Muslim. But rising levels of immigration from Muslim countries and low birth rates among Europe's indigenous population mean that by 2050 the figure will be 20%, according to forecasts. Other predictions indicate that by the middle of the century, Western Europe will already count more Muslims than non-Muslims. 
In 1978, a conference of Islamic leaders and thinkers, with the support of the Organization of Islamic Countries, took place in London. There it was determined what Muslims in Europe should aim to accomplish. Becoming the majority and putting Europe under Islamic rule. The world we live in will not be the world in which our children will grow up. We count on you to spread the word. This is a call for action.